Welcome to the Wachendorf Projector Tool tutorial. Today we will learn how to create buttons to increase or decrease a variable. I will use the same example project that I've used in the JavaScript uh, video before. I will concentrate only on this numeric field now. It is connected to the variable test and I want to create two buttons here and here and I will put a visual aid here so that I know what they will do plus of minus or let's say minus five plus five okay so what I want to do is when I press this button the variable test should increase by five and when I press this button it should be decrease by five. So first I will do the plus. I will use the on release event of the button and open the script editor. First I have to create a new script. I will just call it plus and very important I have to apply it to the event. Okay First, I need the current value of the variable. So I will use the get variable value function and obtain the value of test. Now, sorry, now I can say test equals test plus five. And that's almost it. Now, all I have to do is write the variable back. Okay, this is the first draft of the script. I take the variable, I increase it by five, and I write it back. This is all nice and good, but what if you want to put a certain limit there? Let's say the variable shouldn't be increased higher than 100. What I can do here is, if test is bigger than 100, test equals 100. So I will just put a limit here so that only when the variable is maximum of 100 uh, it will, no, the, the variable can only be 100. If it is larger than 100 it will be set to 100. And this will save me from increasing the variable higher than that. Okay, so that's the plus side. Let's see if it works. Okay, it looks good. You can still see here that the, the formula script is also working, but nothing happens here, so that's what we will do next. On release, execute script editor. Now, we will create a new script. Of course, it will be called minus, and it has to be applied, but I don't want to reinvent the wheel, so I will just copy everything from the plus script and put it here. This is correct. This is not correct. Of course, it has to be minus five. And now the condition, of course, is different. It can be something if script is smaller than zero, then test should be zero. Save. Okay. Okay. Save the project, very important. And let's see if it works. This side still works. And now here you can see below zero is not possible. And let me go to 100. You see the limit is nicely in place. 